Hey, welcome to 241 Backflash. My name is Domin Thompson, and today we're talking the shadow. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below. That way you have to know all future episodes of 2 for 1 Backflash. And of course, we have all kinds of content on the channel, 2 for 1 Collectors, the podcast, all that good stuff. You guys know the drill. So this is the first inaugural episode of 2 for 1 Backflash. And what does that mean? So every week I'm going to sit there and, and show you guys a cool new movie. Maybe you haven't heard of or maybe you've forgotten about a long time ago. And of course, like I said earlier, we're doing The Shadow. It's one of my childhood movies. It came out in 1994, directed by Russell McCauley. He he also directed movies like Highlander. He directed Resident Evil Extinction. And it was written by David Capp. You don't know who that is. Of course, he wrote Spider-Man. He wrote Jurassic Park. He wrote Mission Impossible. So it's got some heavy hitters behind it. It's starring Alec Baldwin. It's got John Lone in it. It's got Ian McKellen in a role. It's based off the old 1930s pulp character, The Shadow. It was on radio. He was in pulp magazines. But he's this cool character with this bandana hat. He obviously lurks in the shadow. Shadows, very much a Batman figure. Ironically enough, when Bob Kane and Bill Finger were developing and creating Batman, the Shadow was a huge, huge character in inspiring the Batman character. You know, the Shadow, Zorro, that vigilante hiding in the, in the darkness sort of thing. But the movie itself held a special place in my heart as a child. You know, I was born in 92. So this movie just came out right after I was born. So what is the movie actually about? Well, it's about this guy named Lamont Cranston, who's Alec Baldwin's character. And essentially he's this drug kingpin guy in Tibet. He ends up being captured by the Tolku tribe. From there on, he kind of learns what he's doing is not so great. And they end up teaching him the ways, special abilities and special powers, kind of like becoming a shadow itself. Believe it or not, he goes back to New York and he starts kind of putting justice back into the system. He is this billionaire playboy philanthropist just like Iron Man, just like Batman, right? And he is, you know, serving up some hardcore justice, but looking kind of a badass when he does it. And it's interesting because like whenever he turns into the shadow persona, his nose gets bigger, his eyes kind of change. He has the cloth around his mouth. He, even his voice kind of changes too. He ends up fighting one of Genghis Khan's descendants. And Genghis Khan, he wanted to, you know, conquer and take over the world. His descendant, who is a uh, Shiwan Khan, he wants to take over the world as well. He also has abilities. He can kind of control control people. There's always this great line that said, what evil lurks in the hearts of men. You know what evil lurks in the hearts of men, for you have seen that evil in your own heart. Every man pays the price for redemption. This is yours. I'm not looking for redemption. You have no choice. And that's kind of what the whole movie is about. You know, it's about this, this damaged character trying to find his way back in the world again. Whenever my parents bought me the VHS, much like this copy that I just showed you guys a minute ago, when my parents bought that for me, I had it less than a couple hours. I got home and I had, I used to line them up in front of my old VHS uh, cassette tape and I spilled Dr. Pepper on it and I ruined the VHS tape and I had just bought it. So if you're looking for something to watch over the weekend, check it out. You know, it's an oldie. And of course, some of the visual effects don't hold up so well. It's a cool little movie and one maybe if you were kind of looking forward to some superhero movies lately and they haven't been coming out, check it out. There's some cool stuff in there. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. That way I've done all future episodes. You know, leave a comment below. Have you seen The Shadow? What's your favorite part of The Shadow? I and mean, do you hate it? And it's okay to hate, hate the movie too. Thank you guys so much. Again, this two for one backflash. Check out the channel. Have fun at the movies.